Oh, boy. A lot of cameras. Woo. Oh, boy. If I were to say your name in the most Italian way possible, like if like your crazy uncle said your first full name and last name together, what would it sound like? Danilo Gallinari. Danilo Gallinari. Is that oh, good? Mm, almost. No? Okay. almost. Almost. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Danilo Gallinari. Almost. <laughs> what am I missing? We know you're a humble guy. Huh? Right now, we're rolling in a 2008 Toyota. Yes. 2008, that was the year you were drafted, huh? Yes. And was this the first purchase, maybe? I leased it for two years. Okay. And then bought it after two years of leasing. I'm not going to break any news to you because you're well aware of this, but there's a lot of flashy cars that some of your teammates drive. Why do you choose to keep rolling in this? Because in my car, I need to be comfortable, and I'm a very tall guy, so in those fancy cars, uh, sports cars, I don't fit. So that's the first reason why I don't, okay. I don't use them or buy them. Yep. I love driving. I like to spend time driving in a car, and so I need to be comfy, and this is a very comfortable car. So this car has come with you even when you've switched teams. Are you the one that drives it? I actually the first time my dad drove it from Denver to LA. Wow. And wow. then we drove it back together, but it was a vacation trip. We went to see all the national parks and we went it was a five days road trip from LA to Denver. That sounds so fun. It was especially amazing. with family like that. You like to travel, don't you? I love to travel. What are some of the places that you've been within the last couple of years? Last year I went to Vietnam and South Africa. Two years ago, I went to Ecuador and Peru. Wow. So every summer for 20 days, I go to two countries in the world that I've never been. No way. Yeah. Do you have any ones that are planned for this coming summer? Yes. What do you got? I have Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong. In every uh, country that I go, I love to experience the culture and learn about the culture. And so I will try to experience as much as I can, see, meet people, see, try different food and try different places and go to uh, museums and cultural sightseeing. I love all that kind of stuff. What about being in Los Angeles is one of your favorite parts? The food is good, but also uh, there are a lot of activities like I, I like movie premieres and there are events like every week. Yep. And so I like that part. The restaurants, there are so many restaurants. I like to try different restaurants every time, different foods, and that's great. Uh, when my friends come here, they want to go to the beach and I live very close to the beach so we can go right to there. the beach. Yeah, yeah. It's right there. So a lot of things to do in, in being in LA. Tell me about your season so far this year. You got off to a great start. Playing with your teammates now, do you have a special bond with anybody? Do you have anybody that you really kind of connect with or anyone in particular that's just like your dude? Well, there are a couple of guys, with the European guys, we've been playing against each other since we were like 15, 16 mm -hmm. overseas. So we've been hanging out with each other, I guess for many, many years and now to play together I think is a special uh, story. But then also with the other guy, with all the vets, uh, with Patrick, with Lou, Mike and Tobias. He poured water on him the other day, one of his interviews. All right, come on, let's go, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, you done? He deserved that. After, oh, gosh. After being the MVP, he deserved that. Pulling him down, huh? Yeah. Oh, that was a great moment. Tell me a little bit about your family. Your dad used to play basketball in Italy as well. Yeah, my dad played 19 seasons as a pro. My mom, until 17, she was a, a track and field athlete. Oh, wow. And she was doing some modeling too. She's a beautiful woman. I'm going to cut you off right there because you just said modeling. Yeah. And didn't you model for Armani? I did. <laughs> Tell me more, please. Tell me uh, more. When I was in Milan, the sponsor of the team, now he's the owner, but he used to be the sponsor of the team, Armani. And okay. so I was a young guy, 17, 18 years old, and it happened that sometimes I did some modeling for, for him. Do you have a good modeling pose? Like, is it a serious face? Uh, it, is it, it a smirk? 
usually I, I don't I, I'm not I don't know why but I don't smile that much in pictures so I'm always serious very serious yeah oh mm -hmm. okay no smile mm, what, no, what? Really. smile <laughs> It's a good smile. Yeah, I don't know no. why you don't do that yeah, more. That's what they say. Oh my goodness. I really appreciate it, Gallo. Oh, and by the way, Gallo means rooster in Italian. Yes, he does. What in the heck? Yeah, no, but Gallo, <laughs> Gallo in in the Italian word is a, is a very important animal. The Gallo is the boss of all the the animals. I like that. And the States is just a freaking chicken, I guess. So. <laughs> 